Welcome to the continuing fix-up adventures of the Home Improvement Show. Grab a notepad and pencil, put a tape in the VCR, and enjoy today's program. Now, here are Joe and Stan. Back at our project house, and the next upgrade that we're going to make, I guess it's a remodeling project, it's a lot more visual though, is we're going to get rid of the dark doors and the flat molding that surrounds the doors and the windows in this house. Come on with me and I'll show you how we're going to make it look really, really nice. Molding can make such a difference, molding and a little bit of paint, and that's exactly what we're doing on this project house taken some of the dark doors, painted them, primed them first with an oil base, sealing, stain killing primer, and then put on some new molding. And this molding is a colonial classic molding that's made by Black Diamond Millwork right here in Idaho. It's available at the Coast to Coast store in Meridian. And as you can see, it comes in a two pack. This is the leg pieces, the side pieces for a door. And there's also another package that you can pick up that has these two corner blocks and the top piece that we're going to cut to fit. And we're going to show you how to do that on a door here in just a second, but I want to point out a couple things that are very special about these moldings. These aren't just the stick moldings that you go down to the lumber yard and buy. First of all, they all come pre-primed for you, so you don't have to prime this. You can paint it with either gloss or semi-gloss latex paint if you want. Put one coat of paint on it first, install it, fill your nail heads, put a finish coat on. Also the blocks, these corner blocks, let's take a good look at these here. The corner blocks are returned. There's been a miter cut made to them, a cap piece put on the end so that you get a nice finished detail also on the ends. That's something you can't get yourself if you try to do it. These things are absolutely spectacular. We're going to show you a window here in a minute that's going to knock your socks off too. One of the other things I want to point out to you that's uh, kind of an interesting thing about this molding. First of all, it's three inches wide. Most new construction, basic, run-of-the-mill, boring moldings are two and a quarter inches wide. So even if your house has been wallpapered or painted up to the old moldings, when you put on this new one, it's going to cover over that edge by at least three quarters of an inch. So that solves another problem. Now the molding is made out of pine. It's finger jointed pine. So it is a soft wood, so you don't have to pre-drill it like you do on hardwood moldings. So we're going to tack it in place first using a small finish nail. These are four penny finish nails. We're going to use those right on the edge where the molding goes into the door jam. Now the first part of the molding is cut even with the bottom of the top jam on the door. We set it back just a little bit from the edge to create another line. It's called a reveal. If you have, if you have baseboard down at the bottom, that's going to need to be trimmed back. And depending what, time, what type you have, you can actually use a utility knife and cut through it, or you could pop the baseboard off and shorten it for where it's going to butt up against this new molding. Now we're not setting them all the way in on this pass because we're going to come back with a nail set, push them in a little bit, and then fill the heads over. So we're just tacking it in place about every one foot down this part. And then where we made this cutout, this is going to be filled in with a acrylic latex caulking, which you can also use to make up any imperfections. That's one thing nice about painted molding. Anytime you get a place where there's a, a gap or a wavy line or something, you can fill that with acrylic latex caulking and then paint over the top of it. The corner pieces are going to sit right up on top up here. Okay. And this one we're going to trim a little bit to make it around the cabinet because obviously it's not going to fit there. This one will sit right up on top of here. So for filming purposes, let's show this one first. It's going to sit right on top of this piece of molding. 
right to where the corner of this block goes right into the corner of the door jams. That way it overhangs exactly the right amount on each side. Now to anchor these into place, I'm using a 10 penny finish nail. Set and set those down. As you can see right below here, this was a piece installed previously. We filled that with a white filler, wiped it off, and then we'll put a finished coat of paint over the top of that and you won't even see them. The next piece to go on is the header piece, and again, that's been cut already. Looks like we need to trim it off just a little bit more. Make them line up. We'll check that measurement, make a few cuts. We'll be right back. Gonna build me a mountain grain of sand Gonna build me a mountain I got me a plan Gonna build me a mountain I know I can Gonna build me a mountain With my own two hands Your home's heating and cooling system could be the cause of your allergy problems. Action Power Vac is the solution. Action Power Vac cleans your ductwork and heating system, leaving it fresh, clean, and dust free. Your furnace is disassembled, cleaned, and inspected too, and you will breathe better. New homes need Action Power Vac to remove construction dust and have Action Power Vac clean your dryer vents and your wood stoves or fireplaces while they're at it. Cure the problem, call Action Power Vac today, 375-2805. Add value and durability to your home and never have to paint it again. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, vinyl or steel siding from Campbell Siding and Windows is the answer. Look at the difference new siding has made on these homes. Yours could be next. Call Campbell's today and schedule your free comprehensive estimate. No matter the weather, new siding, soffits, fascias, and gutters can be installed by our professionals. We even replace your worn out energy wasting windows at the same time. Give your home a new personality. Call Campbell's Siding today. Why settle for less than a Beam built-in vacuum system for your home? Beam means more power to pick up deep down dirt on any surface, everywhere in your home. The all-steel heavy-duty power unit is mounted away from the living area, maintenance-free and guaranteed for a lifetime of trouble-free operation. Installs quickly and easily in any new or existing home. So why lug a vacuum? Plug in a Beam. Call Coltrane Central Vacuum Systems for a free estimate. All right, we did a little trimming here. Had to take the corner off this block to get it to fit in around that cabinet up there. So that's gonna sit right on here. Now, just to make sure we get all the angles right and everything tightened up, we're gonna put these up in position before we nail them. We also shortened a little bit off the side of this so we wouldn't lose the detail up here. It's one of the fun things about doing a little bit of customizing is there's there's really no rules you can do what you want to do okay we're going to finish it up by doing what I'm doing here which is setting all the little nails just to show it real quick we'll put in a couple of the big ones the next thing is to anchor the casing a little better than that by putting in a couple larger nails into the header piece that runs across the top like such you want to make sure whenever you're doing work like that, you want to be using a finish hammer. Now a finish hammer, the head on it is going to be smooth like this, rather than the waffle pattern like on a framing hammer. And it's just in case you miss. You're not going to leave your mark behind. This is a basic four foot by four foot window. Trimmed out the inside of it with three quarter inch pine boards. And then you'll notice the casing that's used here on the sides is the exact same material that was used around the doorways. 
And those blocks that we used at the top of the doorway, you can now see them down here at the bottom of the window, except they're turned upside down. Now, Black Diamond Millwork makes these header pieces to give it just a little bit of extra punch right there, because windows being wider than doorways, they can support a molding that's a little bit bigger. Now these come in standard sizes, or they can be made custom to whatever length you need. This header again came out of the box all pre-primed like this. It's ready to go. The returns are put on there. And it's going to sit on top of the moldings and create this look up here. Now, the two different ways. This header could be installed right across the top like this. All right. Or you could do like we did on the other window, which is we cut made another cut in here an inch and a half shorter and brought this header piece down into the window opening. Now what that created for us was it's a nice pocket up here that's going to hide a mini blind that we're going to have in these openings. So you could do it either way. You could either put it at a height to where it hides your mini blind or if you're going with draperies or some other type of wall or window covering go ahead and install it at the top. We're going to put this header up above the window here in the kitchen but this one no, doesn't have any room for side casings. So a different version of this product is used with this mounting strip where the back has a recess cut in to match the mounting strip. Now watch this. This is also real nice if you don't like using nails to put things on. You just screw the strip on. It's also great if you don't maybe own the home that you live in. You could just take and put these up with screws and when you move you can take them with you. Now, why is this not straight, you might ask? Well, it's because this window isn't straight. We put our level on this, though, and this is straight. That's about as good as it gets, right there. And that window is not square. So now, with that installed, all you do is take this header piece, paint it out in the garage ahead of time, let dry, sits right on there. That's it, no nailing. Now, how's that for simple? And again, the mini blind, it's going to fit right up underneath there to where you're not going to see the mechanism part of it. Now, here's another use we found for the Black Diamond Millwork moldings. If you remember this wall, this had cabinets on it at one time. Well, we cut a hole in there, and Richard Anderson, our official electrician, he moved a bunch of wiring that was in this wall, kept an outlet here, trimmed it out with the corner blocks and the regular casing around the opening, put some solid lumber in here and got a coat of paint on it. It turned out great. We even got one of the very small little header pieces that you saw, made a little detail shelf out of it, picked an accent color that matched the rest of the kitchen. We really like the way it turned out and the molding made a big, big visual difference in this room that just brought it to life. Consider it for your house if you're doing some remodeling. It's a simple update, doesn't take a lot of work and you can accomplish it in a weekend, no problem. A quick way to touch up nicks or chips or scratches in woodwork is as close as your children's crayons. Grab a couple of them that have the same color as the wood you're working on, grind them into the chip or the scratch, blend the colors together, remembering to go darker if anything, and then buff them off with a cotton rag or some other type of cloth and the scratch will virtually disappear. And that's another tip from the shop. helpful advice, come to Coast to Coast. We specialize in neighborly service because we care about our community and the people in it, especially our customers. You'll find a friend who knows how to do it right at Coast to Coast. Coast to Coast, know how. Gonna build me a mountain from a grain of sand. Gonna build me a mountain I got me a plan Gonna build me a mountain I know I can Gonna build me a mountain With my own two hands
At Boyce River Mortgage, getting your new loan is a snap. We're the only mortgage company in the entire state that can approve your loan in one hour via live, face-to-face -face video conferencing with our underwriters, over 600 of them. You can hear them say, congratulations, your loan is approved. Congratulations, your loan is approved. We are the online, up-to-the-minute mortgage bankers. Stop by our office and find out how easy we've made it to get your loan approved in one hour, even on Saturdays. I'm Darren Stubbs, president of Boyce Weaver Mortgage. Remember, you are in charge. It's your money. Why settle for less than a Beam built-in vacuum system for your home? Beam means more power to pick up deep down dirt on any surface, everywhere in your home. The all-steel heavy-duty power unit is mounted away from the living area, maintenance-free and guaranteed for a lifetime of trouble-free operation. Installs quickly and easily in any new or existing home. So why lug a vacuum? Plug in a Beam. Call Coltrane Central Vacuum Systems for a free estimate. We're out on a job site today and we're going to be putting siding on this home. It's a little different than what you might be familiar with, but a wonderful product that we'd like to show you. How it's done, why it was done, and how it might help you out on your home. With us is Gary Price with Campbell Siding and Windows. Hi, Joe. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Now, this is vinyl siding going on this house. Correct. A lot of people might not be familiar with vinyl siding. W what about vinyl siding? Why is it such a good choice? Um, well, the main reason is it is maintenance free. Uh, Once it's up there, it's up there. It's and up there. No painting? No painting, uh, no maintenance at all. It does ha carry a lifetime warranty with the product. Um, well, it's a great product to be putting on this time of year because, I mean, oh, it's yeah. downright cold out here. It's and pretty much shut the painter. There's down. no way this guy could be painting this house this time yeah. of year and getting it buttoned up before winter. And uh, we might get snowed on here before the day's out. I want it's, it's, aesthetically, it's you know, it's uh, every bit as nice as any wood siding. Oh yeah, it looks great. This is just a little section that the installer had gotten done just before we got here. Five minutes. I mean, in this part of it's done. It's it's not painted, but I mean, it, the finished it's coat done. is there. Now these are all sections of material. What, twelve foot? Right. Uh, comes in twelve foot sections, and there's a couple of different ways. Uh, that the, it can be installed. Um, oh yeah, that's right. That's what you're talking about. Right. There's uh, Wayne, the homeowner, has chosen uh, what we call T-channel, and this would be similar to a batting strip if it was wood siding. Okay, so the next piece of siding, obviously coming up from the bottom, it would be coming in here somewhere. Correct. Once again, the homeowner has chosen that he would like a casing look around each window. Okay. Um, so what we've done there is we'll take. PVC polyvinyl chloride. We'll take PVC coated steel coil, and we have a. Oh, so this is steel. This is steel. P PVC our, coated uh, steel. Right. Oh, and then you've bent that to fit over the trim right. and encase that, so that's totally maintenance free, and including the windows, because right. they're they're a vinyl they're window. A vinyl window. So um, this house is not going to have anything to paint on the outside. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Mom. So the next piece, you start at the bottom, work your way up. Right, and Bob has chosen, he uses the staple gun. Right. Um, at the top of the, each piece of siding, it has a, what we call a nailing fin. And we like to staple anywhere from 12 to 16 inches. Every 12 or 16, it'll have a, a factor okay, So each, in it. each piece of siding is actually hanging off of the wall but it's got that under lip that hooks into it. Now this house, this is one of the uh, precision panel structures houses where the, the total outside of it's covered with the wafer wood material. That probably makes this a lot easier. But normally this would be attached to where, right into where the studs are? Um, I guess it wouldn't matter, it doesn't really as long matter. as he's got a solid surface to go into. A lot of times we will do, when we're talking new construction, we'll do a home that um, is sheeted with High R board or green board. Right. Um, and then you are restricted to the studs. And the process to get this started, the homeowner brought to you blueprints in the case of this new construction, and you did a takeoff on that. Right. Figured out everything that was needed, gave them a price, and then it's all ordered in because there's a lot of colors to pick from. Right. I mean, there, this is what, Cape Cod Gray, you said? Yes. And who's this made by? This is made by uh, Allside. Allside, Cape Cod Gray, okay. And they have within that all side, all kinds of different colors. Yeah, right? each we usually stick to a couple of different manufacturers. We can use them all if we need to. But, sure. Um, each manufacturer 
has anywhere from 10 to 15 colors for the siding itself and as far as trim colors the aluminum soffit the steel fascia it's what about patterns? What colors. about patterns? What if you don't like this um, this size here? What else do we have to pick from? We have this is what we call a double five ship flap or straight lap. Okay. Um, they have a double five Dutch lap, which is a little bit different profile. They have double four, which would this would only be four inches rather than five inches. Okay, so this is why when I when I see your 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 estimators and that out on the job site they've got all these samples of the different things they can show people what they're going to look like show them pictures and the brochures and let's take a look at this doorway now okay. now this is something that's very unique to what you do because i've seen a lot of these where they just 90 degree just bend a corner right. and it becomes a doorway but there's there's brick mold this, underneath this is a wood framed door and it's got brick mold under it so what did you do what here? we've done here is similar to the windows um, take a flat piece of metal that goes all the way back in here behind the weather stripping right even. okay so it comes all the way out and it's one and continuous we just, piece we just follow the brick mold pattern basically but um, these vary a little bit from door to door and depends on it. Oh, okay so you custom bent this right on a braking tool the break here on the job site we come in take the measurement and oh, look at that even the corners are overlapped and capped real nice now that looks great he's not going to have any any no. issues here at all well now i see this is the outside corner that's all one piece right you um, see so many of these houses <laughs> where that wood trim is all just peeling apart and nails popping there's nothing in there that's going to ever show up. That's nope. great. Yeah. Um, it comes one piece. They also come Whoops. with this brand, the all side brand. It comes. You better uh, stay out of the way. Your fingers are going to be part of that house. <laughs> it comes 12 foot in length also. Um, okay, so this is made by all side just like the siding is. Everything's designed to fit together as a right. system. Each manufacturer has its own accessories that go with the Now, panel. For, for. Okay, now wait. Now he just moved that up and down. That's part of that expansion contraction. Right, thing. you need to have. Whether it's the siding panel or your outside corner, you need to be able to have it move for when, like today, what is it, 40 degrees? Right. Well, this coming summer when it's 100, it'll expand out. And if we had this nailed tight when it expanded, you'd, it'd ripple up and... Yeah, this keeps it looking straight and solid. And right. Yeah, I see that a lot on the wood houses where they've done butt joints with the, the fiberboard lap sidings and that. They're always moving. People are trying to fill them and paint yep. them. Same, same deal on the fiber. It's been a couple days now since the siding crew was here doing the work from Campbell Sidings and Windows on this house. A couple things we want to point out to you that they were able to finish up. Uh, one of them is the weather. It's very cold out here right now, as you can probably see. And that's one of the nice things about having a crew like Campbell Siding and Windows come out and do vinyl siding on your home is the weather conditions aren't a factor. They can be done at any time of year. So you don't have to worry about your house making it through a full another year without a uh, good coat of paint on the outside because in this case, there is no paint. Now, a couple of the things that we weren't able to show you earlier that I'd like to point out. One of them is the soffit structure and the under eave structure of this house. Take a good look at this. You'll notice that wherever there is any kind of a joint, it is completely covered with a maintenance-free exterior. You're not going to have to worry about any of the traditional moisture, warpage, sagging, mildew problems that houses have that have natural wood with paint on them. It's also very flat, straight, and very clean looking. A couple other things that were done here on this home too really dress up the appearance of it and give it a quality look. Under eave lighting was put in here, cut right into the soffit structure. That's going to look nice for quite a long time. And also the trim work around the windows. The owner here has also put on some vinyl shutters just to dress it up and give it a little more country feel, if you will. Looks really nice. They also installed a full gutter system around the house, and one thing that I can't encourage you enough to do is even though that the building codes only require gutters over a little bit of the section of doorways going in and out of a house, I'd encourage you to put gutter systems just as they did here on every single drip edge of the roof lines. Divert the water away from everywhere. 
by putting a complete gutter system on your house and also make sure there's enough slope. That's something we ought to point out here too. If you notice the gutter down here where it meets the eave or the fascia, very small amount of distance there, but as you travel across the gutter, that distance gets greater. That's the slope that is achieved on that. A couple other things you'll notice that have been finished out, like where the faucets pop out of the walls here. Nice little trim pieces all the way around those. All the light fixtures are trimmed out in the same way. Our homeowners here also built a nice little detached garage on the back side of this house. And if you notice here, you can see a real good example of the fascia around the soffits and eaves here that have also been trimmed out with the metal. This is the vinyl coated metal. So creating again a totally free exterior. The garage matches the house in every way and they will never ever have to paint this. I want to thank Gary Price from Campbell Siding and Windows and his suppliers for providing us with this project here for this uh, edition of the Home Improvement Show. I'm Joe Prin for Stan Mackey. Be with us next time here on the Home Improvement Show. The Home Improvement Show would like to thank our sponsors. If you would like information on becoming a sponsor of the Home Improvement Show, call Joe at 939-7797. of the door. And I don't know what else to say. <laughs>